Hey everybody, it's Christy with Christy Cole Artistry and tonight I'm, going to, tonight I'm going to be working on a 15 by 30 level 3 canvas. I am going to be doing a Payne's Gray white split with metallics and Prussian blue. And before I do that, uh, for those that didn't see the um, finished ice painting, um, here it is. Um, all the bubbles have been taken out and the new coating put on it. So that one's all ready to go. Again, this is a little 9 by 12. And then I also, um, I rethought the blue wave because after I took the bubbles out of the blue wave, um, I wasn't sure I wanted it so glossy. So I ended up doing more of a gloss versus a high gloss. And I really love the finish on here. It is just, um, it's just perfect. And um, so I'm going to be taking out the push pins and taking out the tape and, and uh, finishing this one off and then it will be on my website. If anyone's interested in any of my paintings, you can also email me directly at um, Christy Cole Artistry, and my information will be at the end of this video. So I'm going to flood the canvas in the Prussian blue, or the um, Payne's gray and white, and then we'll get started. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've leveled my canvas, and I am going to put my Payne's grays in my cup so that I can pour it onto the canvas much easier. The leftovers I'll just pour back in the bottle when I'm done, if there are any. Here's my beautiful Payne's Gray. It's a really nice dark blue black. Okay. And then I put out or I mixed up all these um, white paints um, with water for uh, for smaller paint paintings, but I have them all mixed up and I'm out of my non-bubbling paint, so I'm going to use these to do the other half. Probably going to end up with lots of bubbles because these have been sitting for a while. And whatever's left over, again, I'll pour back in my bottles. I just want to make sure I have enough out. So I have leveled my canvas on all sides and in my centers, and we are ready to flood. So I'm going to flood the white first, and I'm going to use my big spatula for flooding, and then uh, my hair dryer as well. So, since I poured these out of two separate bottles, even though they were mixed the same, I'm going to stir them up, just to make sure they are well mixed and they don't um, show separately or differently on the canvas. You can mix up two batches, and if you're off by just a little bit and you pour it out, you're going to see it when it dries. So I'm just going to stir this up, and then we're going to pour it on and get this spread out. So my design today is going to be um, kind of up like this. This will be the, um, the Payne's Gray. This will be the white. I'm going to go a little bit lower on the Payne's Gray and use the Payne's Gray and the other colors to go up into the white. So let's get started. Make sure I have enough on here and then have enough for my sides. And I'm going to use my hair dryer to help blow this around. It's faster. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, that's never happened before. Oh, that's funny. Shot it right in the paint. All right, now you stay on there. like this and make sure everything is thoroughly covered with my weight. This works better. Then we'll double check the sides when we're done, but I like to make sure that I know that I've at least um, got a base coat on the sides like that. <coughs> Okay, so next we are going to add our Payne's Gray. And my Payne's Gray is actually a Payne's Gray, uh, Master's Touch Payne's Gray mixed with a Liquitex Basics Payne's Gray. I'm going to do the same thing. I am going to pour this along here. That way I'll get my divider line where I want it. And I'm going to use my spatula to help glide this because this is a little bit thicker, but it's oh it's such a beautiful color. Just a deep, deep, rich blue, gray, black almost. I just love this color. Look at our sides. And then we will go ahead and um, get the bubbles. We will torch all the bubbles. Give me a second here to make sure that all my sides are covered thoroughly. We know with darker colors, blacks, paints, grays, navies, things like that, if we don't get a color covered thoroughly, then the canvas will show through and we don't want that. Some colors are harder than others to cover on a white canvas. Sometimes I paint the sides. Um, I just didn't think it was going to be necessary with paints gray because it is so dark. All right, and then we'll get a little bit more of the edge here. It's dripping down, it's just not dripping down thick enough or fully enough for what I want. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. So we'll get this all covered nicely. Corners. Little missing bubbles. And this corner over here. Tiny bit missing there. See a little bit missing up there and here. So there we go. I think we're just about there. Little spot here. And this will get um, blown over as well. Not too worried about it because what we end up blowing out will um, end up over here too. All right, I think we've got that. Now we will. I don't like 
to waste the paint. Now we will um, torch the bubbles. All right, so first layers on, beautiful Payne's Gray, and our lovely titanium white. Whoops, this torch, I don't know, what is the matter with this thing lately? It's got plenty of fluid in it. I love Payne's Gray. Payne's Gray, Ultramarine Blue, Prussian Blue, any of the dark blues. And you mix them with light blues or gold, all kinds of things. Okay, so we have now popped the bubbles. And we are going to check my sides real quick here because I see some where it's nicely dripping down, but it missed a big spot. We don't want that. We want to be thoroughly covered, especially while the paint is still dry or wet. Um, because if I, if, I, um, if I don't cover it now, when I try to cover it later, you'll definitely see the difference. All right, I think we've got it now. One side is giving me a little bit of trouble here. And we're going to pat paint on there. A little thicker to help it cover. Like I said, sometimes I, I um, will actually paint the sides ahead of time. Um, I just didn't think I needed to with this. Maybe I should have. We'll find out because in the end it'll dry and it'll either show a little bit or it won't. Okay, so our next thing is to wipe off our beautiful spatula and set that out of the way. Canela's right, the spatula does wipe off nicely. I always wash it when I'm done just because I don't want dust gathering on it, but I mean it does wipe, wipe off really easy. So, okay, um, so next thing we're going to do is we are going to add the following colors. So I'm going to be using um, Deco Art Pewter, okay? Top of Deco Art Pewter, I am going to be putting 24 karat Extreme Sheen Gold. On top of the gold, I am going to be adding some Extreme Sheen Copper. On top of the copper, I am going to be adding my Prussian Blue. And next will be Metallic Sterling Silver. This is all about metallics tonight. So we're going to see what happens when I um, get all these metallics flowing on this painting. And hopefully we'll come out with something that looks sparkly. Okay, that's the plan anyway. Sometimes the plan goes awry. All right, here we go. So again, my pewter is first. start over here and I am just going to add a nice bead of pewter. This is a really pretty pewter. It's sort of a because it's an extreme sheen. I don't know it's just got some pretty characteristics to it. A little gray, a little shimmer. Here's my gold. Okay. I just realized that was not the pattern I was going to go with. That's okay. I can still do the pattern I want, I think. No, we're going to go with it. Okay, here we go. 
copper, Prussian blue, and sterling silver. All right, I'm going to move my paints out of the way. we need that and put that out of the way. Okay. Pop the bubbles. A little splitchy there I don't like. Okay, let's pop these bubbles. And let's get to blowing this out. Alright. I put my um small extension on again make sure it's tight this time and um, like I said I've got high low and power button so if I need it we'll blast it up I think it looks pretty just the way it is hmm. now I know that um, um, Rinse Kaduna don't downa um, she pours extra paint here and I've never tried this pour over thing. So I think I might try it. Just a little bit anyway. So I'm going to go on low to see what happens first. I'm just going to blow a little bit of it down. Like she does. Just going to see if it really helps it flow. Okay. Up a little. Then we're going to blow it out. All right, here we go. Well, that's pretty. Wow, stuff is just, uh, yeah, you guys can see that. Look at all the stuff that's just popping here from those metallics. <gasps> that's really kind of cool. The blow over, I don't know if that helped or not, but I really like what's going on with this. It's very interesting. Huh, copper, the gold, the silver. The pewter's making some really nice designs in here. I love the color down here, the pressure, or the um, Payne's Gray. I think I want to blow it down a little bit more though. Yeah. interesting to me now. It reminds me of like rocks or agates or something. Wow. That is really different. Huh. The Prussian blue blended with the whites and everything. That looks really pretty. Then we've got the golds and the copper and the silver and the pewter up here. A little bit missing here. Maybe if I torch it we can bring something out of there. Because it feels like there's stuff under there, but it's just not out yet. So let's see what happens. It is, it is starting to pop, and down here it looks so light, just like a shadow of, of um, color down here. It's very interesting. Huh. Okay. I'm going to get the camera and bring you down. There's just so many cells popping out, so much to look at. So I'm going to get the camera and I'm going to bring you down and I'll be right back and we'll take a look at this together. Okay, so.